All right, let's look through the kitchen stuff. And I noticed this right down here. It is a Wexford 39 piece punch set in its original box. Oh my goodness, made by Anchor Hawking. You know I have to look and see if it's really in there. Could it really, could it really be in there? I bet it is. Okay, stand by. It is nighttime. It's not that late though. It feels so much later than it is. Don't you hate that? How many more days? Somebody just posted that like, what, 90 more days and we will be in the, I don't know, are we ending daylight savings or starting daylight? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is we're gonna have longer days. And I just found out our Goodwills are going to extended hours as of the 13th of this month. They're gonna be open from nine in the morning till nine at night. Ooh, more time to shop. That's actually like really good news for me because I like to get to multiple stores and I don't always get to because of the timing. So I'm super excited about the extended hours. I'm gonna be able to get more shop done. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna see what I can find. So let's go get shop done. All right, you know what we got to do first. We got to go get our lucky cart, and I think tonight it's this one. All right, we're going to start in the wood section. That's actually a nice little jewelry box that looks like it's been restored. This, this looks new, so it looks like someone maybe restored it. I don't know, that copper just looks too new. Just say made in Japan. Hmm. But this does look older in here. And the wood looks older. So, you know what? For $3.99, we're gonna grab it. Now, I really like these little primitive looking kind of needle pointed prints. Love lives in happy hearts. Simplify your life, believe in your dreams, see with your heart, know what love means. I do like these. Oh, they're, they're from Seagull Book. You know, they weren't that much to begin with. I just like them. For $1.99, I'm going to sell them together as a set, and that'll be worth my time. Okay, we are off to a running start. Look at that. They're like um, like uh, saloon door kind of guys down there. I thought they were shutters, but they're a little differently shaped than shutters. <gasps> Give me a K. This is so what I want to do with my letters. I'm telling you right now, we're going to be doing some fun stuff with my letters. That's kind of the, it's kind of the vibe that I'm going for there. Oh my. Look at these fancy birds. Little uh, fancy African birds from Pier 1. Oh, they were 15 Now they're $7.99. Not sure those are going to bring that money, but I get how they priced it. They priced half of what the retail was. But I think we're going to leave those until maybe if we come back here Wednesday and they're 40% off. I would go for that little um, wicker cup holders. Kinda cute. No hurries, no worries. Let's see what the front of that looks like. Oh, that's interesting. It would have held something. Oh, look at this little recipe box with the, I don't know, they're like, they're like hippos with big ears but I think they're supposed to, no, they can't be elephants because they don't have trunks. So maybe they are hippos. Are they hippos or are they pigs or hippos? My goodness. It's gotta be pigs, right? Country pigs. This is an older piece. You can tell it's got some, got some age on it. It's 399. 
All right, this would be a really nice piece to put down at the booth. This is really cracked. Otherwise, I would have been tempted to pick this up because it's got an elephant in the center. But it's it has succumbed to the Las Vegas dryness, and it has cracked. Give me an A. All right, let's see what we can spell here. Oh my goodness, we have so many letters to work with. Uh, seam. There we go. Or it can be Bab. <laughs> All right, moving on. Enough silliness. So you hear me mention taking stuff to the booth, and if you've been following the channel for a while, you know there's a couple different spaces that I have sold stuff in. Woo, those have no weight to them. No weight at all. I'm trying to read what that says. Too teeny tiny in there. Maybe it'll come up on the camera here. Ugh, I'm gonna have to see it when I edit. <laughs> I can't read it now. Um, I do have space down at the Antique Mall of America. I've had that for years and years. I recently downsized from having two spaces to only having one space. And so I do still buy stuff for that space. And then, oh, I'll tell you the rest in a second after I look at this gorgeous wing. Look at this wing. But it's just a single wing. But that's really spectacular. Goodness. $7.99. It's really big, guys. It's really big. So I'm not going to get it, but wow, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, but then the other place you may have heard me have space was when Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas and I had space at the fantastic vintage market, kind of like that basket. We had that together. We did close that space in December. I just like the look of this, of this, uh, dish drying rack look at it. it's just got a really neat primitive wire look um so yeah we closed that space that we had together but i do still have a source to put some larger thing and some things to sell locally okay this looks like it's going to be an interesting row today i like this piece of glass uh, it is definitely, definitely vintage. It's got a little paint wear to it, but I do love that it's sitting on this little stand like that and it's $2.99, so we're gonna grab that. And right behind it, I have uh, two of these little stone, like lava stone tiki guys. I'm not sure what their purpose is, maybe for an aquarium but it's uh, $4.99 for those guys, so we will, of course, grab those. I do like this little amber glass. I think it was made to be a candle holder, but it is just a single, so we're gonna leave that. I'm gonna look at these. They are marked something. Made in USA. Hmm, what do you say? See if we can see the other one. Oh, good. Uh, it says home interiors and gifts exclusively for home interiors and gifts made in USA. All right. What's this little lamb? Little lamb of God, so precious and so dear. Jesus is watching over you. He is always near. How sweet is that? Oh my goodness. It's a Russ, 99 cents. I will probably give this away to somebody in my live sale. All right. What are you? A little ashtray in there for Australia. Shell dish. I'm seeing this thing back here that I wanted to look at a little closer. I don't tend to pick these things up because they're fairly generic and hard to find makers and such. But this looks like is this a Hager? Are you Hager? Let's see. 
You are, Hager. Got a little cracking right there. But at $14.99, I'm going to pick her up. All right, and then I always look at these things that look like paper bags because there are some famous, or there is a famous maker that makes pottery that looks like those, but that's just a hobby piece. And then we have a unicorn wine bottle holder <laughs> who's pretty fantastic. Oh, he's really, really broken though. Darn it. I totally would have picked him up. Uh, had he not been broken. I'm going to look at these masks. European style, sculptured, handcrafted. Does that say Toscano? Uh, it does say Toscano. $7.99 on that one. $7.99 on that one. I think I can get around 30 bucks a piece for these, so I'm going to pick those up. And then I just peeked and saw this little girl. Now, she would be really fragile to ship because she's already kind of falling apart. But, oh my goodness, Carrie would love her, wouldn't she? Oh, she's $14.99, though. Carrie would adore her. And had she been had she been cheaper priced, I probably would have picked her up for Carrie. Ooh, it's a Loot Crate exclusive. Okay, now I bought a fountain for Noah and it was missing pieces. Cordless operation. Hmm, we don't want cordless though because then you have to keep replacing batteries. So, so I'm on the hunt for another fountain for Noah. Okay, this is different. <laughs> Goodness candle holder. Uh, I guess there's like a pair of them. Oh my gosh, these are just so, these are so fun. Uh, $2.99 and $4.99. You know what? I'm okay with that. We're going to grab those. All right, just pulled this little cutie off the shelf for $2.99. Oh, the, yeah, the little mask heads mm -hmm. down there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I met a viewer here. We were talking a little bit, but I am going to, he doesn't have a price on him, um, which leaves me hope that maybe his friend is here somewhere, but we'll put him in the cart and see what else is on the shelf. It's an interesting little piece of art pottery. Nothing too spectacular. Not signed. And then there's this bird here, but I can already see he's got a big boo-boo. Let's see, though, who he was. Oh, he is not. He's not signed, but he is older. You can tell by the paint and the colors. And this looks like a, I was going to say, this looks like a hobbyist piece, which it very well may be. It's not marked. What does that say? Most of all, let love guide your life. Yes, do that, please. It's all about love. Got a little, little wobbly cardinal. Oh, that's a glass insert in there. I wonder if this was supposed to be like a perfume bottle. It's like the seraphim angel that's guarding the keeper of the the bottle. That's just kind of cool. For $2.99, I'm going to grab that. And then this is an interesting statue here. Like the couple. I don't know who makes it. It's not, it's not in great shape. It's just interesting. This has a Jim Shore look to it, but it is cast iron. What is it? It is a Jim Shore. Look at that. Is it like a doorstop? It's gotta be like a doorstop. I don't think I've ever seen a Jim Shore doorstop out of cast iron. So even though she's $12.99, I'm gonna grab her. Well, if I didn't find another thing in this store, I've done okay already. We got these little dishes here by Style Eyes. Never had really good luck with the Style Eyes. 
<laughs> Hang on. Middle age is when you hear snap, crackle, pop, and you're not eating cereal. <laughs> it's so true. So true. All right. Oh, little uh, colorful bamboo coasters. Kind of like those. There's a lot of them in there too. Seven, eight, there's like 12. These little bamboo coasters. I like them. I'm gonna grab them. All right, I see this little ginger jar up here. It's got lots and lots of crazing, lots of crazing, but at least it's got its lid, right? It is a Saddler made in Staffordshire, England. So Saddler is a really good brand. We mostly know them for their teapots, but now I've just noticed this lid has been repaired, super duper cracked. So sadly, we have to leave that behind. Oh, bummer, bummer, bummer. I'm gonna look at this funny little bird here. That's a dollar, oh, he's, he's a key hider. Look at that. Put your key in there, hide it, put it in the yard. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Bottle candles. Oh, I guess you put these, you can make a candle out of a bottle. <laughs> These are cute. Little Hermitage Pottery Chamber, chamber candlesticks. There's two of them. They're nice. You know me, I like to do a little rearranging as I'm playing on the shelves. Oh, we have a motion lamp. Scarecrow? Okay, I got this open, but I need two hands, so be right back. Well, there's what he looks like. He's basically a light up water globe, so I don't think I'm gonna mess with him. I just don't trust shipping such things, and he's a little cloudy too, so he's cute, but not something we're gonna get today. Well, one thing about dealing with uh, a snowman, I guess you get you get snowed on. I am like, I'm covered in styrofoam snow now. All right, I see Easter eggs. Let's see what kind of bougie looking Easter eggs we got down here. These are all like cheap, cheap quality ones. Not like those fancy schmancy ones I got recently. We're only looking for fancy schmancy ones. Who are you? Christmas star. Hmm. It's quite interesting. It doesn't it's just says family Christian stores. For $5.99. I like it. It's got like the whole nativity story on it. I do like that. I'm a sucker for nativity stuff. I'm going to probably just put this away. And let's see what other Christmassy stuff is sitting on the shelves that we might not be able to resist. It's like two, <laughs> two stemless wine glasses and a stopper. Jingles and joy bottle stopper. Who makes you? Who makes jingles and joy? Oh look, it comes with a mask on the side. That's uh, okay, that's a little interesting. Table home from New Jersey. Huh. Five dollars. I'm gonna grab them. All right, it's a little crowded in here tonight, so I'm skipping over to plates. These are Rue de Paris. Rue de Paris, Tabletops Unlimited. Huh. Cute little set of plates, but there's only three, and you know me, I don't really like the plates. So, I will leave those for someone else. Let's see, what are you? Butterflies on you. Oh, your false graph butterfly botanical. All right. Let's see. 
I've been very, very pleased that this store is not playing music anymore for some reason. I love it. Absolutely love it. I hope that's a test that the Goodwills are going to do is just no, don't play any music and let's see if people buy more. I don't know what this is here. Some little, it's got, it's not empty. Or at least it, you know, oh my goodness. It's got like a whole little set of glasses and a ice bucket in there. Well, would you look at that? I bet the glasses have rubbed off on the, on the vinyl here. I don't know who the maker of this is. It's kind of cute though. But it's also kind of big to deal with, so we're going to leave it, but I'm always interested in learning about new things. I just wish I knew who done it. Anybody recognize it? Is it just like something you buy at like, you know, Target or Walmart? What am I missing? All right, we are over in the glasses now. I spotted this. It's a... Uh, it's a little house. It's a little glass house for $2.99. I need to find out more about that, so I'm gonna buy it. When I say that, that just means that I know I can get at least my $2.99 out of it, so I'm not gonna lose any money. Um, but I might find out something really cool in the process of doing the research on it too. Which is how you learn about new things, is just research cool things. I did uh, a Monday live show this week on research and pricing. I hope you'll go back and take a peek at that if you are a reseller. I hope it will be valuable info for you. Let's go through here. Oh, these are pretty. Look how pretty those are with the little etch. It's not as elegant glass. It is Depression era, but I just really don't deal with that. I just don't have the time to do all the researching for the patterns and such nowadays. I used to spend a lot of time on that. All right. You know, sometimes these can be a really good brand too. I actually had some of these green ones that were um, Lennox, I think it was. Feel free to get a life. <laughs> Who makes you? $1.99. Some of these can be made by certain pottery companies and be worth picking up. I'm not going to pick that one up because it's not marked with any particular company and it's kind of a mean saying. I'm not really into spreading the mean. I love grandma. How cute is that? How cute is that? You know who would love this? You guys know who would love this. Carrie would love this mug, so I'm going to grab that. Ooh, that had no weight to it. All right. What is this one here? It's a little bunny. Now this is really good quality. Why they must put the tag right smack over the maker's mark. I won't disturb the QR code, which is what they scan. Oh, it's tag. Okay, it's like a, a big box store brand. It's $1.99. He's awful cute. Kind of leaning towards getting them, especially now that I just found a second one. I'm not sure what my camera was just doing right there because I was looking at the bunnies. Uh, but yeah, you know what? I love them. $1.99 each. They're coming with me. I also think I'm going to pick up this really cool stoneware mid-century abstract looking mug for 99 cents too. All right, I have now circled back over to a row that I skipped because there was a lot of people going down it. I do like the duck basket. It's pretty cool. See what? That's just like a big piece of rattan. Not 
quite sure what its purpose is all about. Except just to be a big piece of rattan. I honestly do go through and go, what could you do with it? Hmm, what could that be used for? There's got to be some great little thing to repurpose things. Oh, you guys know, I tend to pick up every one of these I find. It's treasure craft. You can see it impressed in there. Unfortunately, this one has some pretty big chips on the edge. <sighs> so I'm going to leave it. And this is not marked have the look of like a mid-century piece, but without a mark, it doesn't have a whole lot of value. They barely have enough value to deal with even when they are marked, so you gotta be careful about picking those up. Kind of a cool plant. Ooh, we got some glittery, blingy vases here. Probably was used at an event of some sort and then donated afterwards. All right, let's look through the kitchen stuff. And I noticed this right down here. It is a Wexford 39 piece punch set in its original box. Oh my goodness, made by Anchor Hawking. You know I have to look and see if it's really in there. Could it really, could it really be in there? I bet it is. Okay, stand by. Well, so far we've opened it up. There's 12 cups. And then I'm gonna feel under here and see. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the rest of the cups. They have their hooks. And then the punch bowl should be underneath that. Oh yes, it's under there. It's all under there. Goodness, goodness. I going to look and see what this might be going for. Oh, it pains me so much to have to leave this behind. It truly does. It's all there. It's all in its original box, but it just doesn't sell for enough to make this worthwhile to spend 20 bucks on it. That's what they're asking. They're asking 20. Man, oh man, oh man. I may have, I may keep an eye on this because this is a Goodwill I come to often. And if it's still here, when that price goes down, I just might have to rescue this one, but I'm hoping somebody else will rescue it and give it a good home. All right, let's move on. That was a little heartbreaking because I just, I love that stuff. What dimensional, dimensional stickers inside. They're all like punched out, even though this is like sealed. I don't quite understand that. But uh, yeah, there's things that do break my heart to leave behind sometimes, but you do have to have you have to have some discipline or you will turn into a hoarder because you just, you know, there's only so much room in our homes for the stuff. So, oh, death piles cannot be allowed to just build up. It says Coors Light on it. It's a little barbecue or light barbecue. I had to take a peek. Okay, this is really interesting. I have gotten pieces of this very set. This is a five piece glass serving set. It's that curved with the silver rims. And this is like the five piece, five piece set now. Okay, I don't wanna mess up that box, I need my hand. Boy, I'm just really having trouble leaving this stuff behind. It's all in there in its original box, which would make it really easy to ship. So for $3.99, I'm gonna grab this. All right, dog mom. I'm a dog mom. Who makes the uh, dog mom? 2013 Pavilion gifts. I'm sure another dog mom will come along and rescue that. Nice little Bavarian German bowl. See what this little guy is just a little art pottery vase. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. It's newer. With that iridescent little crinkle pattern. I like it, but it's a newer piece. I think I looked at this last time and it's chipped. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there it is. Still chipped. 
<laughs> you ever go back and look at something and go, gosh, I hope it's not chipped this time. <laughs> and look at these canisters. Ooh. They're like little hobbyist pieces though. They're they're that oh, they're that ceramic that it's not very high quality. Man, those are cute though. $3.99, $4.99, Oh goodness. I will have trouble leaving those behind. So I'm not gonna. Oh no. Oh no, look at all the Apple stuff. Oh, it's just made in China. It's not high quality, but it's so cute. Oh, you got salt and peppers and a napkin holder and a spoon rest and a little jar. Oh, look, and look, like the little teeny tiny little piggy bank. Okay, he's definitely coming with me for $1.99. All right, can't leave him. <laughs> Got to find room in my very full cart. Here, tuck him down there. Oh, what other pieces can I not leave behind? Goodness, goodness, goodness. <sighs> I think I'm gonna leave the clock. I don't, I don't really, don't really do clocks, but oh, you guys, I'm so torn. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna be good. I am not gonna pick this up. The price point just isn't, like I would need to lot some of it together, like four, three, wait, four, and four, that's eight, and six, that's 14. So you're looking like this $20 investment. And what's it gonna sell for? You know, 30 to 40? Yeah, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna leave it. And underneath it, we have some VS. Oh, it's not. It's not what it said it is. If that had actually been what it was supposed to be, it's got false graph mugs in it. If that had actually been the Fiesta, we would have probably grabbed that. But it's not. Oh, is that Port, Port, Port Myron? It is. It is Botanic Garden. Checking it for any cracks. $4.99. We will grab that. Let's see what this guy is back here. It's got like a snow scene on it. Looks like somebody had that made with a photograph. All right. Let's see what else we can find made in China. Oh, we got an elephant, elephant teapot. Dash of that for $4.99. We will grab the dash of that. Let's see what else is here. Okay, that's an interesting little shrimp bowl. Look at it. It's got the tails there and it's got the little shrimps hanging off to the side. It's uh, $3.99. I kind of love it. Oh, look at more of these. Oh, there, at least there's a set here. Somebody can find those together. What is this pattern? Because I'm seeing a few of it. Peony and Stripes, Japan, Mervins. Seeing salt and pepper that go with it also. Ooh, little skull. Shot glasses. $1.99 each. Hmm, not really digging that price point, but I'm gonna grab them. All right, pears. This made in China though. Not really worth picking up. Bonwit, is it Bonwit Teller made in Italy? Ugh, chipped. Really, really, really chipped. Otherwise I'd have picked those up. All right, I see. One more thing over there I'm gonna look at. Yep, I see the little Delft tile. Those don't really sell for much. So I don't get them. It's a nice little terracotta little baker thing there. Let me just swing around the corner here. Let me look at this 
Butter Dish, which is Faults Graph USA. I like that Butter Dish, even though I'm not a big fan of Faults Graph, and it's $4.99, so I'm going to grab that. And I bet this is the same pattern, isn't it? The creamer. I'm not going to grab the creamer. But I'm going to look at this cactus base here, which is a propus. came from Steinmart. Steinmart is a, a liquidation store, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's a cheap store. I think little cactuses on this are just appealing enough that I'm going to pay the $3.99. All right, we will go through some of the bathroom stuff. Looks pretty wiped out. Now these, these are a big seller here in my little hometown because this is our big sports team well i mean the raiders did come to town but they're still the hardcore golden knights hockey fans three dollars though i really could probably get like six or seven for him down at the booth so i'm gonna leave him Ooh, is he meant to have a cover on that what are you little elephant i don't know Almost looks like he's meant to be like a trinket box, but I'm not sure. Right. Ooh, crayon. Oh, it's a crayon box. It's not even the crayons. I think that was here last time I was here. Storage boxes. never know what's going to be in this aisle. This is kind of like the catch-all aisle of things. Ooh, I know I said I wasn't going to pick up any more canvas, um, but this is a really good size for her. So I, it's not priced, so hopefully it's only like a buck. I'll get that for Rachel. Princess Cruises. Somebody's little photo thing. That's an interesting thing to donate. Oh, the... Uh, Halloween stamps are still here. Actually, they're half price now, too. Oh, no. All right, I don't see anything. Over here. Quick look through the lamps. I don't see anything I can't live without today. Boy, nothing at all. So let's go take a peek in the arch saw this painting here. This does look like it could be an original. Yep, it's got the age. See the yellowing of the canvas tells me it's got some age on it. I don't think this is a super like master artist piece, but it is pretty. There is our artist signature right there. It's kind of like reading doctor's signatures, huh? Leoholz, Jerry Leoholz of 1983 and it is $5.99 so I think I may pick that up. I could change my mind on that. I don't know. I might do a quick peek and see if it is a known artist. Um, I, I'm a sucker for art. I just I can't stand to leave you know nice pieces like that behind. I just can't stand it. But I'm trying to be a little bit more disciplined with my purchases but then there are chickens and chickens always sell $4.99 oh it even says what kind of what kind of chicken it is so $4.99 each we're gonna pick those up okay I really should get out of the art because I don't want any more art you don't want any more art but then I find cute little pieces of art. Like this is only a dollar. I'm, I'm actually going to get this to put in Rachel's room because it's a bird and I want her to live her dream. So that's just going to be a little piece for Rachel. All right. All right, we're getting dangerous here. We're stacking things dangerously. Loved you yesterday. Love you still. Always have. Always will. Very, very sweet. We got frames, just frames, 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 frames. All right, let's see what else we got. We got some, these look like Ruan Manning. Oh, it is a Ruan Manning uh, lions. Ruan Manning 
can be pretty good. And for $2.99, there's very little risk that I won't make money on that. All right, for somebody who wasn't going to really get anything in the art, I ended up putting art in the cart. <laughs> you had me a bacon. You know, I'm not, I like bacon, but I'm not like a, I'm not like a huge bacon eater. A mermaid sleeps here. Carrie, did you see this? Carrie, I'm gonna send a picture of this to Carrie because she's got a mermaid bedroom. I gotta send this picture. I just peeked over. Look at this amazing table for $25. It's got the double fold down drop leaf. It's got the twist on the legs. Oh my goodness, look at this table. It needs a little work, a little restoration, but not bad at all. <gasps> oh, I love this. I've got nowhere to store furniture right now though, which breaks my heart because I would pick up a piece like this in a heartbeat. So I'm coming over to look at the linens and the first thing I spot is this Waterford Fine Linens Reversible King Comforter Set. It was on clearance for $130. What is Goodwill asking? What's the Goodwill price? Ah, uh, what's the Goodwill price? Come on now. Let's see. Oh, there it is. $24.99. So, this is one I'm definitely going to look up. Okay, this is a big fat yes going in the cart. This is about a $250 to $300 bedding set. I'm taking it. Okay. We have a very, very full cart now. And I'm going to look through, see if I can find some soft stuff for maybe wrapping some of this stuff I bought. This is like a suede. That's why I'm giving it like another look. I'm not exactly sure what its purpose is. It's odd. It's just odd. Ah, oh, some nice Christmas tablecloths. But I'm not I'm not picking those up today. I've got several stocked away for next year already. Look through our placemats. A pair of shorts. <laughs> got mixed in with the placemats. Crocheted placemats. <gasps> Ooh. One nice little is that 99 cents for that? Yeah. We will definitely grab that. I love to sell these in my live sales. Okay, here's my little crazy precarious cart full of stuff. I'm just balancing stuff everywhere, down below. I did not expect to get this much stuff tonight, but here we are. So I think that's my big score of the night, but got lots of great stuff. I hope you'll stay for the recap. See, everything that I bought, I identify it, tell you what I paid and how much it's worth. Let's go do it.
expect that to happen tonight. Um, the total bill was about hundred and a little under hundred and sixty dollars. The one comforter set is going to pay that back, and so, like it's just unbelievable to me how good these Goodwills are. I could never leave Las Vegas. I hear a lot of you saying, you know, my, my Goodwills just don't have anything. And I'm just like, ah, oh, so frustrating when there's so much good stuff coming, you know, to different places. I think, I think it's time for me to take a little trip uh, across this country and go scope out all these Goodwills you guys are talking about. And if the Goodwills don't have the good stuff, then we got to figure out where that good stuff is. Uh, just happens to be Goodwill here is gets all the good stuff. Uh, so, there you go. Um, I am kidless tonight. So, I'm sitting here trying to decide what do I want for dinner? Because I can have anything I want. Because I don't have the kids. What am I going to get? Hmm. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, well, you're not really done for the night because you need to go home and send invoices and work on tomorrow's video and 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 all that stuff and yeah I could choose not to do it tonight but then I got to do it in the morning and then you know it's just a vicious cycle you guys know you guys know uh, anyways I'm out of here I don't know what I'm gonna get to eat I'll figure it out as I go that's how we roll so with that you go be profitable and make it fun we'll see you on the next one